Welcome to this Modelithics 5-minute feature for ANSYS HFSS. In Application Note 63, Introduction to Modelithics 3D Models in HFSS, we go over using the Complete Plus 3D library within HFSS. Several EM field plots are shown. Today we're going to go over some tips and tricks for generating high-quality images of EM fields in HFSS. Don't forget to check out the Modelithics YouTube channel for more content like this. The first thing we can do to improve the image quality is to remove the grid lines as well as the coordinate axes from the image. To disable the grid, simply go to the View tab and then Grid Settings option. Now to disable the coordinate axes, we'll go again to the View tab and down to the Coordinate System selection. We can also choose to hide the ruler in the same menu. The default projection that HFSS uses is orthographic. This is the preferable choice when drawing models. However, when exporting graphics, choosing a perspective projection can make your model look a little more realistic. To change the projection, once again go to the View tab, Modify Attributes, and choose the Projection option. From here, we can choose between perspective and orthographic, and we can also adjust the camera angle as well. One last modification we can make to the view window is to change the background color. Instead of just using white, we can choose different colors and even apply a gradient by going to the background color option. If we just want a solid background, we can leave it at the plain background option and change this color. Or we could choose to apply a gradient. Now let's cover how to adjust field plots. One of the simplest ways to plot fields is to create an on-model object, typically a sheet cutting through where you would like to plot your fields. To plot fields, we'll go to the HFSS menu, and then down to Fields. And we're first going to choose a magnitude E field. As you can see, the scale needs some adjustment. To do that, simply expand the Field Overlays option. And here is our new E field. If we right click and go to Modify Attributes, we can change a lot of different attributes for the field plot. You can choose different color schemes, but here we're just going to stick with the rainbow option. Under Scale, let's adjust the limits and see if we can get the fields to show up better. You can also play with whether the scale is shown in dB, or if a linear or a log scale is used. Another thing we can do for the magnitude E field plots is to adjust the transparency. So if you go to the Plots tab, you can adjust how the layers are shown using this isoval type parameter. And if you have map transparency checked, Note that the areas of less intense fields have become transparent, and the areas of more intense fields are still opaque. Next, let's try adding a vector E field view. So let's choose the same non model object, go to the HFSS tab, fields, and now we're going to choose vector E. We'll hide visibility for the magnitude E field plot to make it a little easier to see. Now once again, the plot could use some adjustment. So we'll right click on the folder, and now let's go and adjust the scale. When making vector E field plots, it's really useful to adjust the marker and arrow size as well. Use the size slider. We can adjust how large the arrows appear.
The map size toggle button will also adjust whether the length of the arrows corresponds with the magnitude of the E-field. We can also apply magnitude filtering if we choose. Under the Plots tab, you can adjust the spacing between the arrows. It can also be useful when plotting fields to adjust the sources. Right-click on Field Overlays and then go to the Edit Sources option. This will allow you to control how much power is being fed into each port. The default is typically 1 watt at port 1 and 0 at port 2. Sometimes this can bias the field plotting to one side, so it can be helpful to set it to the same value on each port. If you're finding that you're not getting enough fine detail in your field plots, you can add an auxiliary object and then apply a mesh operation to force a finer mesh around the objects of interest. That's what we've done here with this box 1 object. Finally, when you're happy with how your field plots look, you can disable the E-field scale by right-clicking and choosing Hide, and then Export the Image. To export the image, we'll go to the Modeler tab and choose Export. From here, we can choose the resolution of our exported image. HFSS will support exporting up to an 8K image, but has several different options. You can also choose between several different image file types. Check out the Modelithics website for our full library of application notes and videos. Thank you. We hope you enjoyed this Modelithics 5-minute feature.